Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my back to school supplies haul. And I've seen a bunch of these already being shown and like being put out, but I feel like it was too early for me to post one or to even buy the stuff. I don't want to spend all my money on back to school supplies already and it's like the middle of July. I did go and buy them because every time that I do wait too long, I always get like the the school supplies that suck and they're not that good so I wanted to go right now and I picked up like the basic stuff if you guys don't know I'm in college right now it's gonna be my second year of college and I'm super happy that I got through my first one already but it sucks that summer's almost over I have like a month left I know other people just started school or they're starting school so sorry about that also if you guys hear like a little bit of noise in the background it's my fan because last video that I made I was kind of sweating during the intro and the outro so I didn't want that to happen again so sorry about that I'll try to like edit that out if I I can if I even know how but if I can't I'm sorry but yeah it's really hot in this room and with that being said let's just get started with the video so usually I go to like Target and I buy my school supplies there just because there's a Target closer to me and I um, I've always just gone to Target they always have better supplies or I always thought they did but this time I went to Walmart and I actually saw that I liked their school supplies more and they had way more for way cheaper. Target's going into like that YouTube thing where like it's all glitter and polka dots and teal and pink and like all that girl stuff and I'm a guy and I don't use that kind of stuff so I went to Walmart and I bought everything there especially because like the notebooks and stuff are cheaper and they're basically the same quality as like a five star or like the Target brand for only a dollar. Yeah I went to Walmart and I bought all my stuff there and the only thing that I did forget to buy and I'll probably end up getting later is a planner because planners do help me out a lot I write everything down in there like my homeworks and stuff so that's how I stay kind of organized they don't help like a bunch but they do so yeah let's just get started the first thing that I got was notebooks and I got four notebooks I got one in this green color and this is by the brand Casemate. I got these last year and they worked great and they're basically the same quality as like a five star notebook. It has like the same like plastic paper. It has the um, little pockets so you can put in stuff in there. I got one in yellow and this year they didn't have as much color selection like they didn't have black notebooks. They always go for black notebooks because black is awesome. As you can tell. Yeah, I got another green one because like I said they didn't have any other colors except for like pink and orange and yellow. Maybe I just got there late and I finally got a blue one. So I got a yellow folder and this one's like a highlighter yellow and I don't want to bring it up to like the screen too much because it's gonna make everything else look pitch black. I also got a black one, I got a green one, and I got a blue one. Next thing that I got was just um, normal paper. I always like to buy a pack of paper because you never know if you run out of your own paper or if somebody asks for paper you can just give them some of this. If you do assignments that you have to turn in you can always use this one and it's always nice to have extra paper just in case you run out. The next two things that I got I tend to always get but hardly ever use so I just bought one of them. The first thing that I bought was a pack of index cards and in these were 50 cents or 35 cents at Walmart. The only times that I actually do use them is during finals and I don't use them for every class. I only use them for some classes so that's why I only got one because I don't really need a lot of them. The next thing that I got was a pack of post-its and the last things that I got were pens and pencils and I always buy more pens and pencils because I always tend to lose them and I always run out like halfway through the year. So I bought a bunch this time just because I don't want to run out so yeah. So the first pens that I got are gel pens and they're all black gel pens and again this is the Casemate brand so I'm guessing this is like a Walmart brand like just like the up and up is the Target brand these are like a dollar fifty I like writing in gel pens better like with the finer point because I feel that my writing is more controlled since I do write big it just looks neater and it's easier for me to read so I got this pack of pens and I usually like to get like the Pilot G2 pens those were like ten bucks for a pack of eight or nine so I just went with these for right now and if I don't really like the way these write I'll just go and buy them but these were a dollar fifty so I wanted to try them out and if I do like them then I'll buy more of these. The next ones that I got were these ballpoint pens but they're erasable pens and these were a dollar for a pack of two and I wanted to try them out because they're erasable pens and I always make mistakes when I'm writing especially in pen I feel like I make even more mistakes and I just have to cross it out so if the erasers work on these if they do I'll buy more of these too. The next pens are these and they're big Gelosity pens. These were only like three dollars for a pack of five. These are the last pens that I got and I've never seen these. They're the big extra pre precision. I can't say that word. So it comes with a black, a green, a light blue, a pink, a blue, a red, a green, a light green, and a purple. So it comes with like an assortment of colors and these were a dollar 
50 I think, or $1.75. The last thing that I got were a pack of pencils, mechanical pencils. I don't really use pencils unless I have a class that needs a pencil, but this semester I'm taking a math class, so I need to have pencils. Yeah, I just got a pack of cheap pencils just to have on hand when I do need them. So yeah, that's basically it for this video. I know it's not as big as other people's hauls because a lot of other people buy backpacks, more binders, and like erasers, and color pencils, and all of that, but I didn't really need that. I've gotten to the point where I, can, I just need like the basic stuff, and anything that I didn't buy right now, I already bought previously.